Hey everybody, Howie Lindsay coming to you live from St. Petersburg where Louisville just beat Southern Miss in, this, in the uh, Beefo Brady's Bowl. Tremendous win for the Cardinals and it, it actually capped an amazing season for Louisville. Probably not expected to win more than about three, four, five games. Uh, Louisville finishes the season seven and six with the Beefo Brady's Championship and uh, here's what Charlie Strong had to say after the win. This football team all season long has been able to just fight through adversity, a team that has never quit. And if you look at each game, we, we have gotten better each game. You, know, you start off Kentucky, you know, at that time we didn't know who we were. And it's each game, you know, you go from Kentucky to Eastern Kentucky, and we just got better and better and better. A team that was picked to finish last in the conference, a team that was picked to win no conference games. But 25 seniors decided that they were going to take this program and lay their foundation within this program. When you talk about competing, a team that we talked about, guys, you have to learn how to compete. And once you learn how to compete, you'll start winning. So it's the process went from competing to winning, and now we got to learn how to win. And that's what this football, then you got to learn how to handle winning. And we were able to do that. And then for us to just get to a bowl game, we said that it was one of our goals. We wanted to get our senior class to a bowl game because of what they've been through. Now we get them to a bowl game. Now it's great to get to a bowl game. Now go win the game. And that's what we're able to do tonight. Charlie Strong talked all season about building for the future. Take another step. This was a big step for Louisville. Here's what he had to say about the senior class and what they've left for this program. I don't think they ever thought of seven wins. But you know something, though, you really can never underestimate players, especially seniors, as many seniors we had on this team. And once they started buying into the program, and I, I, I didn't know if we could win seven. I knew we would win some games. I knew we would win more than three or four because when we came within the program, there was no resentment. And so when you don't have resentment and you guys start believing it and then they start talking your language, then you say, okay, we got it. Wow, what an amazing game. We, I got to witness this from right there on the sideline as Louisville wins its first bowl since 2007, that Orange Bowl victory down in Miami. Cards come back to Florida for their next bowl game, a victory over Southern Miss. I tell you what, this was a back and forth kind of game. I think the theme to this game that I want to take away from this is, you know, they're down by 14 points to Kentucky, down by 14 points to Oregon State, lost both of those games. You can kind of see how Louisville progressed as a program by how they handled adversity in this game. Louisville was down 14 to nothing to Southern Miss and then 21 to 7 against Southern Miss and Louisville came all the way back, clawed back, fought back, got the big uh, you know uh, kickoff return and, and really fought back Justin Burke and those guys uh, it got Louisville over the edge and then the Chris Philpot field goal uh, puts them up 31-28 for the big victory. I, I tell you it's a testament to this senior class, it's a testament to the the personality change that Charlie Strong has built in this program uh, to see Louisville come back from down 14 nothing, come back from down 21 to 7 and win this game, not just play it close like they had in the past. I think that's the big difference between Louisville six months ago and Louisville today. Yeah, it's it's learning how to win and, and this team didn't know how to do that and, and we've slowly gotten there all year. You know, we've, we've, we, we play from ahead pretty well, uh, we come from behind okay, but now we finally finished one. And, uh, I think that's the learning process of winning a, for a winning football team. You know, I tell you, at any point, Louisville could have gone ahead and, and panicked when they're down 14 to nothing, when they're down 21 to seven. And you know, I think teams in the past actually have panicked in that situation. In talking with Justin Burke, he said that there was a little bit of panic on that Louisville sideline, but they they overcame it pretty quickly. There's always a little panic anytime you know a team goes up. I think it's natural, but I don't think there was any. We weren't discouraged. You know, I, we were we were we knew we put ourselves in a hole, but we never gave up, and um, I think that was important for us. We've done it all year. You know, we've been down a couple times this year. We, we always go back to that Oregon State game. This time we finished it, you know, and, and, and that's important for us. It was absolutely a remarkable performance by uh, all kinds of guys, most notably special teams. Cards got a big kick block. They, they also got the big run back from Jeremy Wright. Here's what Jeremy Wright had to say about his big 95-yard touchdown run uh, that was a huge momentum swing for Louisville. Just go ahead and return it. So I actually, uh, the guys told me before we were going to get on our bus. It was interesting to talk to those seniors after this game. Louisville wins 31-28, and the seniors, including Doug Beaumont, felt like if he could just have one more year with Charlie Strong, he would love, he would cherish that opportunity. 
just going out there, he's a great coach. I mean, I, throughout the three years, I wasn't as successful. People still said I worked hard, but just ending the way with him and everything, people's going to remember this. People's going to remember this bow game, and he's just going to keep this program going. I wish all the Cardinal fans could be down here with me. Uh, it was a great experience here in the Tropicana Dome. This is Howie Lindsay signing off for CardinalSports.com.